Ah, here we go again. The crypto market is finally starting to show some optimistic signs. Months and months have passed without any good news in the crypto market. We've seen a couple of fake outs, but nothing substantial. And now we're finally starting to see that after months and months of prices falling, we're seeing short sellers get liquidated. We're seeing a little bit of optimism in the market and people think, you know what, maybe the bottom has been reached. So let's talk about it. Right now with the overall market, we're seeing short sellers, people who have been betting against the market continuing to fall are finally getting liquidated. This is the first time that we have seen this happen in months. And if you look right here, you can see that over the last couple of hours, we have seen that vast majority of crypto liquidations have become from short sellers, meaning that all of these people who have taken out leverage and people who are selling is short sellers right now who have gotten liquidated. They've been forced to close their positions. That is a good sign because last couple of months, we've only seen long-term holders be liquidated. Liquidated. So this is the first optimistic sign. In addition to this, we're also seeing with the overall market in terms of technical indicators, we're seeing that Bitcoin right now has bounced off of a very key support, right around $35,000 per coin. We had talked about over the last couple of weeks how $40,000 was very important. If we drop below 40, we're going to continue falling down to around that $35,000 per coin. If we drop below that, we said, well, 30,000 was next based on the last 12 to 18 months of data. But the great news here is that we had seen Bitcoin's price drop down to about $32,000 per coin, only to quickly bounce back up above this very key support level of $35,000. So while we may or may not be able to maintain this, the good news here is when we look at the daily um, candlesticks, we can see that we have been able to hold this support of $35,000 per coin. And this could be indicating that we are right at the bottom of the market before we continue to see the market bounce back. Other thing of good news, and we'll get into some bad news, don't worry. But other thing of good news right now is illiquid supply. This is the amount of Bitcoin that is not on exchanges, that it's in cold storage. That basically means illiquid supply is the amount of Bitcoin that is hard for people to sell. The illiquid supply has gone up dramatically while Bitcoin's price has been falling. If we look at the charts right here, this is pretty interesting because what we're seeing is that while Bitcoin's price has been tanking, we have seen the illiquid supply continue to increase dramatically, meaning that whale accounts, people who are buying, are doubling down, taking their Bitcoin off of exchanges and have no plans of selling it anytime soon, really locking these, th these prices in for long-term positions. So that is all great news with the overall market. So things are looking pretty good. Obviously, the bad news that we do need to be aware of over the next couple days is going to be the Federal Reserve. So Federal Reserve is set to have a very important meeting on Tuesday, January 25th and Wednesday, January 26th, 2022. This is going to be where they confirm some of their policies with regards to interest rates and inflation, um, even their buyback programs over the next couple of years. So that could have negative impacts on the market. That is the only thing that I would say is going to prevent us from seeing a bounce in the overall market. But right now, things are looking much more optimistic than they have been. Obviously, Federal Reserve meeting could change everything. But if you're looking at the overall market, you're looking at technical indicators, things are looking much more optimistic. Last thing I want to talk about, I just want to keep this a quick video, is going to be with ex-Goldman Sachs CEO Lloyd Blankfield. He came out and talked how crypto is happening in an interview. And what he means by this is that we're finally starting to see institutions get involved with crypto, trillions of dollars from financial institutions starting to invest into crypto startups, start investing directly into Bitcoin, Ethereum. We're finally starting to see the technology and like assets in general really take off. And seeing someone who used to be very um, like negative towards Bitcoin say that, you know what, the data doesn't lie. If I look at what's happening with institutions, if I look at what's happening with um, money, with financial institutions right now, it's going into crypto. So seeing someone like this change and flip their opinion, it's also very bullish right now. So whether or not we drop down to $30,000 per coin, whether or not 35 is the bottom, either way, what we're seeing is that the tides are starting to turn. We're seeing a little bit more optimism in the market. Yes, there is always that risk of dropping further down. But if we look at technicals right now, it would say that 35,000 is probably the bottom. If we drop below, if we see some a close below 35,000, well then 30,000 could be the bottom. But either way right now, it doesn't matter if it's 35, doesn't matter if it's 30, there's a lot more optimism in the market from institutions and in terms of technicals. We have seen so much buying pressure. We've seen a liquid supply continue to increase. And ultimately me, 
I am going to continue to add to my position slowly, just dollar cost average. Whether it's 35, whether it's 30, doesn't really matter to me because long term, I don't see any way that two years from now, three years from now, that Bitcoin's price won't be higher. So a lot of exciting stuff happening with the market. Exciting to see Bitcoin's price really bounce back after dropping below $33,000 per coin. And it's exciting to see that we may have started to find the bottom. So let me know your thoughts with the overall market. Hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.